guys welcome back to my kitchen i am prepping to make dinner and dinner will include rice and peas jerk chicken some coleslaw and um some beet juice now let me show you what i have in my jerk i'm making my own jerk sauce i could buy jerk sauce in the stores which i do sometimes but I think I make a good jerk sauce so I'm gonna make my own jerk sauce okay so I have a jar here in which I'm combining all my ingredients I have already in this jar um, some molasses and some ketchup then to that I'm gonna add a little of my hot pepper sauce i this is my homemade hot pepper sauce that i made um a couple weeks ago with some scotch bonnet peppers chili um apple cider vinegar white vinegar and i think i put some garlic in it so it, i think it should be pretty spicy so i'm gonna add some of this to the so that's the hot pepper sauce a little of this and a little of that that's how we roll when we cook in Jamaica okay so that's it now I have some dry ingredients here that I will be grinding together in my trusty grinder that works quite a bit in my kitchen I have some cloves I will be adding a few cloves to the grinder here I will also add some ginger fibers actually got the ginger fibers from when I make ginger beer I don't toss my fibers I use them in my spice blend so that's my ginger fiber and then I have some thyme leaves the thyme leaves came from my garden because I have time in my garden and I spend time in my garden <laughs> anyway you make time next, in the garden, you make time in next the garden. is some um, salt so we are adding pink salt I use pink salt in my food next turmeric add a little I don't add too much because I don't want that um, yellow color but I add enough so it just adds the added dimension to the jerk sauce so that's enough a little turmeric and then dehydrated onions I like to put dehydrated onions in my spice blends although I also use shredded onions I use the dehydrated onions and I add them liberally to the spice mix and the last thing I'm gonna put are some chili flakes so I'll just go ahead and add a little chili flakes and the hallmark of jerk chicken is that it's a bit spicy you know so I'll add enough chili along with my pepper sauce hot pepper sauce to make it just a little spicy and just one minute a very important element of this um, jerk sauce is allspice some good old Jamaican pimento so I'm just gonna grab it from my cupboard and I have some allspice in a grinder I'm just gonna grind some in to the grinder the electric grinder okay so I think that's good enough So let's just cover and grind away. So 
I'm using both wet ingredients and dry ingredients in my jerk sauce and I put the wet ingredients in the jar I'm grinding the dry ingredients then I'll combine them I have the lid here cover it and shake away I just give it the top of the grinder a little tap or a few little taps because when it's grinding the powder actually goes up into the lid there we go and so it's ground and ready to be added to the wet ingredients <clears throat> So now I'm just going to cover and I'm going to shake to combine everything. So the molasses actually helps to add a little sweetness. You won't taste the sweetness, but it's mostly for the color because I don't use browning. I stopped using browning a while back. Now I don't even use it in my cakes. So I go for my molasses to get my color, not the brown in. Hmm. I think it's well combined. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Okay, so now just gonna grab my chicken here. My chicken is already cleaned. I'll just grab a glove here. Put my hand in it. Let's open this before I touch the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour my I'm gonna pour my sauce on my chicken thighs leg and thighs and just work the sauce in i have eight of them in here there are four in the family so maybe i can get some leftovers it's, it's always a good thing mm, some more and i'm actually going to leave just a little in the jar so I can use it to baste the chicken when they're in the oven, maybe just halfway between or halfway done, halfway done. And the chicken's about halfway done. Ooh, check this out. It's all covered in that spicy goodness of my jerk sauce now I'll just hold this and pull it inside out and then I wash my hands okay, so usually I like to do this and then put it to sit for um, a couple of hours or so so the seasoning can really soak into the chicken but I won't get the chance to do that at this time of the day so i just cover it for a few minutes i'll put it over here by the stove and i'll cover the rest of my jerk sauce that i'm going to use for basting and oh guess what guys i forgot to put my onion and my garlic in okay so let's get it back over here and i'm going to grab a glove go those are two important elements of my jerk sauce i forgot but i'm gonna put them in now they will be just as good going in now so that's my shredded onions and garlic there we go just work them in yeah I'll put this inside out and go wash my hands hey so I'm gonna cover this back, put it by the oven there. The oven has been 
um, preheated so I'll wait until it gets to um, I think I set it at 375 and uh, as soon as it gets there I will be putting the chicken leg and thighs in okay guys so the oven is ready for that chicken so the chicken actually got to marinate a little while the oven was warming up so that's a good thing now i will cover them for a minute because i like to cover them to start so they can start to steam a bit and start cooking and then after a few minutes uh, maybe 20 30 minutes I will take the cover off so that they can start browning up nicely as they finish cooking the one thing I do when I cover if I use anything that's made from foil I will make sure that I put parchment under the foil because it's not a good thing to have foil all over your food. So I'm going to use a foil pan, but I'm going to put parchment on the chicken and then I'll put the foil pan over it. So it will help to just lock the steam in and help the chicken to start cooking nicely. So I like my chicken well done, as do most Jamaicans, so it will take a minute to finish cooking. Close the door. Have a peek guys, that's it. I've taken Let's off the parchment and the foil and I have basted the, the chicken the quarters. And now I am just going to close the door and let them finish up. And I'm pretty happy with my jerk chicken with the sauce that I made in house. Oh, let's dig in guys, let's dig in. Yeah, I made my gravy over here too. And the gravy has some of the jerk sauce. So everything complements each other. It's, it's time. Thanks so much for watching, for subscribing, and for sharing. Please tell somebody about my channel and my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, that's it. That's a wrap.